In this video, I'll demonstrate the Color Replacement Tool in Adobe Photoshop CC. Now, the Color Replacement Tool does just what the name suggests. It replaces color, and you can find it on the toolbox under Brushes, click and hold, and there it is right there. Now, we have some options in the toolbox up here. We have the option of presets if there are any, and if there aren't, you can create them and save them and use them in the future. You have your brush settings, things like the size, the hardness, the spacing, the angle, and so on and so forth with your brush. Now, there are four modes, hue, saturation, color, and luminosity, and depending on which of those you uh, choose, you'll get a different effect when you're uh, replacing your color. And we have three different options which give us the sampling options, so continuous sampling, sampling of a single color, or sampling from a background color. We have the limits, so we either can choose from find edges, this can change the way the color replacement tool works, and you can sort of play around with those to get different effects. The tolerance is going to determine how much information is sampled by the tool, and it'll, changing the value is going to change the amount of pixels that are changed when you use the replacement tool. So with all that being said, let's take a look at the tool itself. So I'm going to go back to continuous sampling, stick with color, and then click and start drawing. Now notice when I draw that we're replacing that color with this gray, and it's not really a great look, but if I kept on clicking and dragging, you can see it's actually not drawing a color per se, because we can still see the word taxi, but what it is doing is replacing the color that it's finding with the foreground, in this case, black. Now I'll go ahead and undo all that, bring the history up and revert back to the starting state because that's one way of doing it and changing the color on the palette. So for instance, I'll choose this swatch and click and drag and you can see that you get a different effect when you draw, undo that with control Z. But the real neat thing about this tool, I'll show you this, is you can click on the second sampling button and that'll just sample the first color that it finds. So if I wanted to change just the blue color and not affect that red lettering at all, I click and drag and I can start dragging and you see as I draw now that I'm just replacing the blue color. And I can even draw outside and it's not going to have any effect. So it's only going to change that initial blue color that I first selected. And that's a really nice feature of the color replacement tool because, as you can see, it gives you the option of replacing just that color. And I'll, I'm just clicking and holding right now. And as I click and hold and drag, I'm painting over with the new color. I'll go ahead and control Z to undo that because you also have the option of hue, saturation, and luminosity, and choosing each one is going to give you a different effect. Let's choose a different swatch color. And now when I click and drag, you can see that we're getting a different result there, a different sort of color uh, in that foreground. I'll control Z to undo that and just show you the one-time sampling as well. Same idea. The saturation changes the level of saturation of the color. So you can see now, instead of drawing with that orangish color, all we're doing now is just modifying the uh, saturation value of that blue color in the taxi sign. And again, because I've got that one-time sampling selected, we're not affecting the uh, foreground color at all. And then luminosity, same idea, except now we're going to change the luminosity of the color rather than the actual saturation of it. So luminosity means lightness and it's just going to add that light into that blue color. And I'll control Z to undo that. So you've got a lot of different options with the color replacement tool. It gives you immense power over the ability to choose objects in your images and change them quickly and easily. And once again, if I wanted to change that entire thing, the color of it, I'm going to make that brush nice and big. Uh, make it even bigger than that. There we go. Keep that one-time sampling on because what I want to do now is I want to change the color to something like this. And I'll click here and start dragging and see how easy it is to change just that blue color quickly and easily in Photoshop CC.